Students, this is Bilal Ahmed, part English, subject of English, second year. It is the last lecture about the lesson Dying Sun. We will discuss short questions uh, based on this lesson. Uh, first of all, uh, let's remind what information had we gathered from this essay. First of all, uh, there was information about the stars. The question can be based, what are stars? So we had got information about stars. Stars are big burning balls of fire. Then there can be question about the size of stars. It would be accommodated in the same portion. number of stars. How many stars are there in the universe? How many stars? Then the next question can be stars don't collide. This question is about the vastness of universe. How vast is the universe? How big is the universe? So, there can be one question covering all these informations as well. How big is the universe? How big is the universe? Life on stars. The question can be, why is there no life on the stars? Sitaron par life kyu nahi hai? The stars are big burning balls of fire. You can in include this information in it as well. We can start with stars are big burning balls of fire. They are far too hard for life to survive on them. All liquid would be melted there. So there is no possibility of life on stars. Next question can be physical conditions for life in universe. What are the necessary physical conditions required for life to exist in the universe? This is our question. The physical conditions necessary for life to exist in the universe. So what are the physical conditions necessary? The first physical condition, we had got information and we read in the essay that the first physical condition is moderate temperature. It should neither be too hot, it should neither be, nor be too cold. It should be moderate in a manner that liquid should remain liquid on that planet where you are talking about life. So this is the first physical condition necessary. necessary. The second physical condition of course is uh, water and the third is oxygen. Next information that we are gathered from uh, this essay was chances of life. Chances of life on earth. Thousand, million, million part of the universe. Thousand, million, millionth part of the universe has physical conditions necessary that are necessary for life to exist. This is the proportion. Question can be what is the possibility of life 
in the universe. What is the possibility of life in the universe? There is very little possibility of life in the universe. In fact, the chances are thousand million millionth part of the universe may contain suitable moderate temperature for life to exist in the universe. Next information. Uh, is creation of planets and then uh, this is the most important part of this question how was earth and other planets creating, uh, created the question that is stated that is given in the exercise of this lesson is that what happened when a star wandering through space came nearer to the sun. So information is same. What happened when a star came wandering through space? How were planets and planet Earth created? How were planets created or how did life come into existence in the universe and what happened when a star wandering through space came near the sun? Let me clean this board so that we could write some more. Number nine life on earth this can be our question number eight how did life start on earth how did life start on earth or how did life begin on earth this can be next question. Uh, Sir James Jeans says that it started in the form of microorganisms and with the passage of time, in the, initially the life was very simple. With the passage of time, it kept on becoming, uh, getting complicated, finally creating complex individuals like human beings. Last question is about the universe. It frightens. The question here can be why is the universe frightening? The universe is frightening because of three reasons that we had already discussed in our previous lecture. The universe is frightening because of its size, because of the size of stars, because of the number of stars, because of the distances between the stars, and because of the vastness of the universe, and because of impossibility or very low probability of life anywhere else in the universe and of the vast stretches of time that we do not know about. So these are the reasons why universe is frightening. Let's now see how these questions are arranged or in what words they are put in the exercise. First question is here. How is that a star seldom finds another star near it? Kya waja hai ke ek sitara kabhi dusre sitare ke kareeb nahi aata? Vastness of the universe? Because the universe is so immense, so vast. The distances between the stars are immense. So a star seldom comes near another star. It is like a ship sailing on an empty ocean where there is no other ship within sight. So this is the case with the stars. That's the reason a star seldom finds another star near it. 
What happened when, according to Sir James Jeans, a wandering star wandering through space came near the sun? Sir James Jeans के कहने के मुताबिक क्या हुआ जब एक सियारा कायनात में घूमता हुआ सूरज के करीब आ गया? So this is the question. How are planets created? We have given this information. Creation of planets. When a star wandering through through the space came near our sun, that star raised a wave, a very huge wave, wave which we can hardly imagine on the surface of the sun. And by the time that star was uh, going away from the sun, it so happened that that wave raised on the surface of sun was broken into pieces and those pieces started revolving around the sun and this made the birth of planets next question is <coughs> sorry what happened when the wandering star came nearer and nearer wo ghumta hua star jab kareeb se kareeb aaya to kya hua ye hum already we have discussed in the previous question in this question why is there no life on the stars सितारों पर जिंदगी क्यों नहीं है लाइफ ऑन स्टार्स वाई इज देयर नो लाइफ ऑन स्टार्स देर इज नो लाइफ ऑन स्टार्स एंड देर कैन बी नो लाइफ ऑन स्टार्स बिकॉज स्टार्स आर बर्निंग बॉल्स ऑफ फायर दे आर फार टू हार्ड फॉर लाइफ टू एग्जिस्ट ऑन दैम राइट यू नोट ऑन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ लाइफ ऑन अर्थ हाउ डिड लाइफ स्टार्ट ऑन अर्थ Life on Earth started in the form of microorganisms, very simple microorganisms who could only uh, reproduce themselves or create an other cell of their kind before perishing. मरने से पहले वो अपने जैसा एक और बना जाते थे This was their ability, and it is the possibility only is that the first life started in the oceans, not on the dry land. it must have started in the oceans and it must have kept on developing for uh, thousands of years in the oceans maybe millions of years in the oceans and it was very late that this life traveled on dry land towards dry land uh, from that single organism microorganisms they were very simple uh, but they kept on evolving and with the passage of time uh, life on earth our living beings on earth they kept on getting complex complicated and complicated and finally mm, we have got us here so the final most complicated form of life on earth is the human beings next question Why is the universe of which our Earth is part so frightening? Give as many reasons as you can. हम जिस कायनात का हिस्सा हैं ये इतनी हमें खौफ ज़दा क्यों करती है? जितनी reasons आप दे सकते हैं दे. The universe is frightening because of the size of stars, because of the number of stars, because of the distances between the stars. because of the vastness of the universe and because of planet earth's loneliness in the universe we have up till now been unable to find any life in the universe other than on planet earth zameen ke alawa kisi aur planet par hame ya is jaisi conditions ka koi planet bhi nahi mila hai so we feel very lonely in the universe that this universe is so big but we do not find uh, any life like ours on any other planets so akele pan ki ye khauf hai and then finally stretches of time we cannot imagine and we cannot calculate the age of universe and we cannot calculate how long is it going to last ye kab tak kaim rahegi what in your opinion the last final question what in your opinion should be the conditions necessary for the kind of life we know to exist on 
other heavenly bodies. Heavenly bodies means stars or planets. So, uh, in our opinion, we do not need to give our opinion because Sir James Jeans has already told it that where is this question? Chances of life. Physical conditions. What are the physical conditions necessary for life? This is question number eight. What should be the conditions necessary for life? The primary, the first physical conditions necessary for life to exist in the universe is the moderate temperature. That planet on which you are expecting or you are uh, thinking to be a life, it must be revolving or traveling in a moderate belt zone. I mean, uh, at no time during the year, it should go out of that moderate temperature belt. The temperature on that planet should neither be too hot nor too cold. It should be moderate, so moderate that the liquids on that planet, liquid by liquid I mean water in the oceans, in the lakes and water in our body, in the body of human beings or in the body of living beings, in the bodies of plants, that should remain in the form of liquid. In a very brief sentence we should can say that liquid should remain liquid. It should neither be boiled to gases, it not should not be frozen. Na ye munjment ho jai, na ye evaporate ho jai. So these are the physical conditions necessary. Second physical condition necessary is the availability of water and third is the provision of oxygen. So this is all about this lesson. In our first two lectures we had discussed this essay in detail. In our second, uh, in first two lectures we had discussed this essay. In our uh, third lecture we had discussed the important words picked, words and phrases picked up from that essay. In our fourth lecture we had <coughs> discussed the important structures or expressions, sentence structures or expressions given in this article and in our last lecture, this lecture now, we had discussed what kind of questions can be asked based on this essay. So you should have, you should be able to prepare this lesson from the point of view of examinations. So prepare these chart questions along with all the other things. Thank you so much.